Do you remember the last time you visit your doctor's office? You wait outside the office nervously, hoping for good results. Unfortunately, for patients with coronary artery disease, this is the kind of process that I have to go through for their lifetime. What is even worse, they have to be through a procedure called a bypass surgery. Let me explain bypass surgery more clearly to you. Take a look of this picture on the top left. This is a picture of a human heart with arteries. So what happened with patients with coronary artery disease, it's like there's a traffic jam in your heart. Your blood cannot get through. So what do you do when you have a traffic jam? So you build a, a tardy, tard, uh, hardy tollway. So what physicians do is they took a vessel from your leg, then they put in your heart, they divert this blood flow so patient can feel better. However, the problem remains is how do we prevent the progress of a coronary artery disease so we can spare the patients from the bloody and the painful bypass surgery? This is how my project comes into play. Amazingly, with the advanced technology such as the PET imaging, we can take a picture of the human heart and have a real-time track of the patient's blood flow. So what we do is we took the PET images, extract meaningful features such as a blood flow. Then we put these features in advanced machine learning models such as logistic regression neural network. Then we predict meaningful metrics that generate actionable insights for the physician to take a look. So our vision is to produce a picture on the bottom that looks like a Google map for your human heart. So we generate a metric that can segment these pictures based on the serious degree of your coronary artery disease. So when physicians take a look at the picture, when the physicians see a large area of green, that means the patient is fine. When the physicians see a large area of yellow, that means we need to closely monitor the patients. And when we see red, the patient truly needs a surgery. We hope by doing that, by harnessing the power of the data and machine learning, we can prevent uh, coronary artery disease and improve the quality of outcome for the patient and a safe life. Thank you so much for your time.